Hello developers, happy Monday and welcome to another motivation video. Today's topic is don't wish work. But before we get started, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. If this video is useful for you or for somebody else that you may know, don't forget to share it with them. And if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, if you want to support my channel, I am going to leave my PayPal link in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. There are three things that I want to talk about when thinking about don't just wish, just work, right? The reason that I decided to speak about this topic is simply because sometimes we spend more time thinking in the things that we want to have rather than focusing to work for those things to make them a reality. So today's topic is going to be about that. And I am going to break this down in three advices that I have for you. So the first thing that I want to talk about is that all dreams can become a reality. If you want to be a developer, you can make that happen. But you need to make sure that you understand that everything can become a reality as long as you work for your dreams, okay? It's not going to happen like in the movies that out of the blue, you're getting uh, some type of result. No, results come when you work for what you want. So if you want to become a developer, you should be practicing every day. You should be studying. You should be reading. You should be up to date with every single thing that is going out there. Because let's face it, in this career path, we always have updates. Technology moves super fast. So all dreams can become a reality as long as you are willing to work for what you want. Now, another thing that you should not be doing is wasting time and feeling bad for the things that you don't have. And rather, you should be focusing on the things that you want to have. Okay, so let me repeat that one more time. Don't waste time feeling bad for the things that you don't have and work for the ones that you want to have. Okay, now my second advice here is the more that you work on your dreams, the luckier you'll get. Think about this. There are a lot of developers out there. Let me give an example. Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, that guy knows coding, right? He knows how to code a website. He knows how to do a lot of things. But that guy didn't become a millionaire from morning to night or from one day to the other. I mean, you might say, oh, yeah, that guy is lucky. He was super lucky because he was at this place doing, um, I don't know, finding this type of connection and that's the reason why he is where he is now, right? But it's not like that. Think about it. How how many days did Mark Zuckerberg probably had to study, probably had to practice, probably had to think in, I don't know, algorithms, uh, data structure, stuff like that. I mean, it doesn't happen just from day to night and it doesn't happen because you're lucky. It happens because you work on your dreams, okay? You, it's not just wishful thinking. It's that you are working on what you want to have. And obviously, with Mark Zuckerberg as an example, he did work for what he wanted to have. I mean, he probably spent a whole bunch of hours, of, you know, learning programming. And then he started working on an application, which... We already know which one was it, right? And now it's it's a billionaire. Same thing happened with Elon Musk. Elon Musk has several companies, um, but he was not complaining about what he didn't have. He rather was working on what he wanted to have, okay? He, he was preparing himself, uh, doing meetings. I mean, this guy, Elon Musk, works, what, 12, 14, 16 hours daily? So how many hours are you working right now on your skills to be where you want to be? Think about that. And my third advice, every big dream starts with one small step. Every big dream out there that you see from people that has been successful in their lives started because they took one simple step. 
You don't have to have a whole bunch of money. You don't have to have fancy cars. You don't have to have fancy equipment. You don't need to go. Nowadays, you don't even need to go to the university to get the knowledge that you're getting on web development. I am making free tutorials here for you to help you. Some other people out there is also making tutorials there to help you out. You have a lot of information out there in the web, a lot of resources. I mean, all you have to do is take one simple step. You don't need that much. That's what I am trying to say. If you want to become a developer, you can become a developer. All you have to do is take one step at a time. Okay, go ahead and study one simple topic. Tomorrow, you study another topic. The third day, you practice and so on and so forth. I mean, everything is doable. Okay, but you just need to get started. Stop wishing and start doing more. So I hope that this video has motivated you to keep on working in, in, the, in the programming life that you want to have, in the income that you want to have, in the people that you want to be with. If you have any other topic that you want to talk about here also, when I am creating uh, motivation videos, leave them down as a suggestion in the description below. And I am going to take uh, a look at them and see which one I decide to talk about next week. Okay, so that was it for this video, everybody. If you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And as well, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And also remember that you can always ask Lixie. Bye everyone and see you again in the next episode.